Hello guys, this is Sherry of Sherry's Plans. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm excited to share with you a little in-depth review and look at the new A5 coiled budget book from Erin Condren. So stay tuned. <music> Right, guys so i briefly showed a look at the budget book on my holiday release video that i just uh did the last video that just went up and i wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a closer look at the new budget books from aaron condren so i am super excited for what aaron condren has been coming out with guys because they have new coiled books in the a5 size so just to give you guys a kind of a little idea on how big this book it is, it is um, the A5 size is 5.8 inches by 8.3 inches. So to comp kind of compare it, I've got the um, petite planner here. It's really about the size of a petite planner, but it's coiled. Like how awesome is that? We've been waiting for some coiled books in this size from Erin Condren for a long time. And they have a budget book out now. They have a goal setting book. And they also have a Hello Kitty like friendship journal in this size. So I can't wait to see what Erin Condren comes out with next. I would love some like coiled planners um, in this size on like daily planning. I can't wait. I'm so excited for what they're going to come out with, guys. So this budget book can be found. It's a little tricky to find, but it can be found in the planners and notebooks section and in guided journals is where you're going to find all the A5 coiled notebooks. I will have this linked in my description so you can find it easily. So the book right now is $18. And right now for this week until November 30th, Erin Condren is having their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So everything in the website, it's 30% off, including this book. So the book, like I said, is $18 and it's currently on sale for $12.60. As of last night though, the book was sold out. So I apologize. I don't know if they're going to have this available before the end of the sale. And I hope that they do for you guys, but I don't know if it'll be back before the end of the sale, but something to definitely watch for and check out if you're interested. So just some more about this book. Um, like, like these pages, it, this is a, the same size as the petite planners. So it is, um, like I said, similar to the size in the petite planners. This book has 160 pages. So it's definitely has more than the petite planner. You can see how much more pages we get here on this. And I'm going to be referencing the budget book because I had just purchased this to try to do some paper budgeting. And then they came out with this book. So I picked this one up as well. So it's the same paper as like what's in our life planner. So it's the 80 pound Mohawk paper. It's really thick and it has this, um, the cover. I found out last night playing with this. This is a removable cover. So I hope that Erin Condren will soon be coming out with some interchangeable covers in this size. Like how cool would that be to be able to interchange this? And then, um, so in the back here as well, it's got a coiled in um, sticker sheet. So you got your sticker sheet in there as well, your budget stickers. So I'm going to do, what I want to do is I kind of want to compare the two, show you guys what's in here and compare it to this one. So what I already love about the budget book is that it's on a coil. It's on a coil so we can flip it around and have it lay flat like that. So I'm already like loving that about this budget book. And when you go inside this budget book, so it's got more pages. I think there's like 80 pages in here. So it's like twice as many pages as in our petite planner. So um, it has a how to use this budget. So it has big picture check-ins, monthly budget tracking information and uh, information about the trackers in the back. So opening it up, it has the big picture. And I think again, this book, if, so I think if you can pick this up for the next year for 2021, this would be great to fill out this um, big picture information here about your goals, your financial goals, especially if you have some financial goals, you're already um, planning for the next year. You can use this in line with your other goal planners. So it's got some big picture stuff here. Then it goes into the month. So the month, the tabs here are undated. And so you can really start it at any time. 
and it's got um, just little clear tabs. You can use stickers. It's They're laminated, so I'm not sure about what you would use to write on those, but I do have um, some stickers that I'll probably use. So you've got an important date section, important days this month. So I would um, bills or paydays um, or big ticket items that are coming up. And then you've got your tab page right here that has future purchases, um, bills, savings goals, and some three little circles. I've used this for um, income or maybe like a debt payoff or like a big ticket thing that you're gonna use. Um, let me just open up the budget book and kind of show where we're at in comparison to that. So in the Petite Planner, you start off with a savings tracker and it has 12 different spots up here for each month. And then it goes into the At A Glance page. So in the Petite Planner, so in the Petite Planner, it goes into this At A Glance page and then it has like a budget breakdown sheet. So I was planning, when I purchased this Petite Planner, my intention was to use this paycheck to paycheck. So there's 12, pay, there's 12 months in here, so I would get about six months use out of this Petite Planner. And then when I picked up this budget book, I had the same intention. I'm going to budget paycheck to paycheck and not for the month because that's kind of how my brain works. And the amount of space that you have in here, I've tried to use a, this budget book for monthly budgeting before and it didn't work because I feel like we have... We've got a lot of different bills. We've got a lot of different things that we budget for. We spend a lot of money um, swiping that card at gas stations, um, eating out. There's just so much stuff that's hard for me to keep track of it all in the space provided here. So my plan was to do bud paycheck budgeting in the Petite Planner when I bought this. And then I bought this. And that was kind of what my same intention was until I started to flip through this. So like I said, you've got important dates for this month, which you didn't have here. So it'd be easy for me to put all my bills on this page for the month, and I didn't have that option here. So already I like this page, like I'm, I love this page. And then open it up and you're at a glance, you've got two pages of your at a glance, whereas here you had one. So I didn't know how I was going to break down all the different categories in my life that we spend money on that I want to budget for. But here it has the room. So you've got income, lots of spaces for your income. So you could write like whose income it is, um, the anticipated amount, the actual amount, a difference, or you can put, you know, whose income, because I got mine and my boyfriend's income. We get paid twice a month. So I could put all of those right here, but then I get the income from um, commission or Etsy sales. So I could put that on here too. Like there's lots of different ways I can track my income for the month on here. So I think like that's kind of how I'm going to use that. Where over here, you've got like just those many spaces. And then you've got like all this room for savings. So if you save money each paycheck or whatever you get, like you can every week or however you want to do it, like you can do that on here. And then housing, transportation, utilities, health, um, blank spaces. So like I would do, you know, mine and my boyfriend's like spending money, like how we're going to budget that. Or we've got dogs, like are we going to bed, you know, budgeting for their food and, um, you know, like their care in here. We also have a food budget. So grocery shopping, if you use like HelloFresh, um, eating out, dining out, um, stuff like that in there. And then you've got an entertainment section. There's just so many, there's so much space here. And then you've got a debt section in here too. So you can use um, that for like your credit card or um, any sort of payoff that you're doing down there. And they've got total income expenses different and total savings. So already I love this, I feel would have enough room for me to budget at a month. Whereas this I don't think does. So already I'm excited about using this as for the monthly. And then what I want to point out too, it was a big difference, which I was excited about this year was in the petite planner, they, it didn't list your, your area. So in, this was last year's where I tried to use, no, this was two years ago. Two years ago, I tried to budget when we were buying our house. I tried to do some paper budgeting to like get a control over everything, see where all the money's going. So these written in like pre-printed in 
um, areas didn't always work for me. So I would like scratch them out, write stuff in, um, stuff like that. So that I was really excited to see this year that it didn't have those written in for us. And we could decide, you know, how we wanted to use these sections. And they, they did have some labels on here, but some of them they have blank. So like I said, I think this one would have worked really well for me for budgeting paycheck to paycheck. But this one, I think um, the amount of space in here is gonna be perfect for the monthly budget. Then you move into the spending summary. So again, so you move into the spending summary. So this is what it looks like in here. You can have you have space for write your month, um, date, description, category, total. And then same thing in this one, you have the same layout. And then you've got, um, so four total spreads of that, and then you've gone to your next month in your petite planner. And here you have one, two, three, four, five, six pages of spending summary. This has enough space for me where I feel comfortable like we could track our spending in here and decide where it's going. So you have a space to write what category. Um, I'm not, Like I said, I'm not sure, I'm not a good budgeter guys, so I'm <laughs> trying to figure this out as I go too. But I'm going to either write the category here or um, use a highlighter to mark and categorize. So I can use like a mild liner to categorize each section, which I might do. I'm still trying to figure this out. So, but you do have a lot more pages in here for the spending summary. And then you go into your next month. Okay. So you've got 12 months of that that are exactly the same. They've got them in these different colors. So it doesn't necessarily match up with um, the color scheme in an Erin Condren. Like this one did. This uh, planner from two years ago, like very much lined up with this is June color, that's July. This one does not, um, but it is very colorful still. Whereas this one, the petite planner is very neutral color scheme. So I'll show you guys some of those. So it's a very neutral color scheme in here, in my opinion, very neutral. So once you guys get through all this, so at the end of at the end of the twelve months here, you have a twelve month check in. So your end of the year check in, um, or just twelve months from when you started it. But so the petite planner doesn't have that. Doesn't have a twelve month check in. Doesn't have a twelve month goal setting. So you got a tab for trackers here, and I am super excited about these trackers, guys. So let me quickly show you again. Um, in your petite planner here, you have. At the end of your spending summary, your last spending summary, you have a you have a debt tracker. One, two, three, four, four pages. So you've got eight total debts that you can track in here. And that's what they look like there. So that's your tracker that you have, and then you get to the end, you got a pocket and a sticker sheet here. Okay. Here you have a savings tracker. So you had a savings tracker, a small savings tracker at the beginning of this one. Your first page there was a savings tracker. This you have different stuff. So you have savings trackers, saving for saving goal and the deadline. So like I said, um, two years ago, I was using this budget book to help um, save for the house we purchased. You can use that for like savings goal for house or for um, Christmas or an emergency fund or something like that. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six savings trackers. And then you've got debt trackers. So like you had in here, but these are bigger. So debt trackers, you have one, two, three, four, five, six debt trackers. But maybe you pick like, like we have one certain cards or, um, that we're working on. So I would put those on here first and those would be the ones that I'm tackling. So maybe we don't get through all of them this year, but we can keep track of like the ones we are working towards paying off. So six debt trackers there and then you have a wish list tracker which i think is another really good um tracker to have that we don't have in here so wish list maybe you've got something you've been eyeing or um tv or something i know my boyfriend wants another tv so like we could put that in here and okay you know the date the item the retailer the price and if we bought it or not so maybe it would be good too is if you're keeping track of um like your planner purchases. I know that's something I need to keep track of. Um, 
writing in on here and being like, did I shop that release? Um, did I buy it? Because sometimes you can put something in here being like, oh, I do want to get the Simply Gilded Advent Calendar. But so you write it in here, but I didn't purchase mine this year. So I didn't buy it. And maybe that's a win for me as not buying some of the stuff I don't need. Um, so that might be how I use this is tracking my stuff like that. So you've got six wish list trackers in here. Or you can use this too if you have kids and their gifts. You can write the stuff in like that they want on here on their wish list and then track what you bought and what you didn't buy. Um, so that might be good too to use it that way if you've got kids. And then they've got a special occasions budget tracker. So I thought this was a really cool one too. Because special occasions, like are you using it for a vacation? Um, your, I, I don't know how you would use this for a wedding, but maybe your wedding. Or maybe um, Christmas, like special occasion might be for Christmas. My budget this year and top of budget and, you know, how much I want to spend on everything and how much I actually spend, you know, between decorations and gifts and stuff like that. So that might be something good to use for as well. But you've got, so you got six of those, which I think is really cool. So I love the tracker section in here. I think there's savings debt. Like there's a lot of really good trackers in here that I think you can use throughout the year to help keep track and help you reach your financial goals. Um, so I'm excited about that. And then you've got a few dot grid pages in here. And what I was thinking that you can use these dot grid pages for is if you wanted to like visually track your savings or your debt payoff. Um, I know a lot of people use like grid pages for that. So I think that would be cool if you want to visually see it in like a scale or something as opposed to just writing down some numbers. So if you're creative and you wanted to do that, I think that would be a good use for these dot grid pages. Um, and then you've got the coiled in sticker sheet in the back here as well. So that is a full look at the budget book. And like I said, I think this thing is really great. So I had intentions, like I said, of like budgeting paycheck to paycheck in here because of the space, but because I got so much extra space in here, I might actually be able to use this monthly budgeting um, to keep track of everything. So I think that might be good. And I'm really excited about the changes that they made from um, two years ago when I bought the budget book. Um, I think they made some really good, really smart changes taking out these, um, these right here. And then one other thing. Oh, I want to show you guys too. Like I said, I was going to use stickers for these tabs. So like I said, I'm not... I'm sorry, I'm not helpful. I don't know if you could write on these at all, but you could always, if you know, like you're gonna start in January, you know, so you can use your tabs that way if you know you're starting in January. But they have these sheets on the Erin Condren website and they are clear um, monthly headers and they fit perfectly for, um, let me see if I can figure this out. So they fit perfectly for like tabs. So I bought these and used them in my um, daily petite planners for the months as like a flush tab. But I think I have some left over and I think like, I want to show you guys what this would look like. Bring you in here a little bit. So these are still on the Erin Condren website and they are, I think it was five fifty, and you get like two sheets. So two years worth of headers and they are in these metallic colors but check this out guys check out how perfect these are for the tabs in your budget book so that's what I'm gonna do today when I set up my budget book um because I I think I am gonna start in December of this year just because I really want to get going on it Unfortunately, I don't think that this book is available right now. And I've seen a lot of other people reviewing it. I think people got really excited about the book. So I'm hoping they bring it back in stock soon. If they do bring it back for the end of the Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale that ends on November 30th, the book would be 30% off. Otherwise, it has a regular retail price of $18, which is a really good price point too for a full year's budget book in my opinion. And like I said, these tabs are on the website too um, for 550. 
I hope I answered all your questions and you guys got a good look at the budget book here. If you guys have any other questions, drop them in the comments below and then um, check out. I'll have a link to the budget book in the description of this video. So hopefully when when um, you'll be able to see when it's available. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, um, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, go to the link in the description to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.